everybody, my name is Joey. Thank you so much for watching today. As a church, we are wanting the voice of faith to be a life-changing message. We want to spread encouragement and spread God as much as we can. Today, we pray that you are filled with faith and filled with hope as you hear the voice of faith. Check out this message from Pastor Lisa. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad that you're with us. We're gonna look tonight again at overcoming discouragement. You know, the devil really wants us to get caught up in discouragement, being disheartened. He just wants to pull us into that and cause us to lose heart in what we're doing, in running our race and in what we're doing for our church or, or whatever it might be, maybe our family, our finances. The devil just is out to discourage because for many Christians, that's all it takes for them to stop doing the will of God or doing something that's right and good just takes them to get discouraged and then they quit. But listen, we are not of those who draw back. We are people of faith and we're going to press on with an encouraged heart. Did you know that you can encourage yourself in those moments when discouragement's trying to come? You can encourage yourself in the Lord. And we see a picture of that in the Bible with David over in 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 4. Go over there with me. Read it along with me. This is just such a, a powerful passage here. And it, I think it gives us a picture of where we're at right now. It says here that if you read it, the background of it a little bit, they had just won a mighty battle and they were coming home. And the Amalekites had... Uh, raided their, their city, taken their wives, taken their children, set fire to the whole city. And so they were really in a situation where um, they went from uh, being encouraged and being happy and being joyful, being brought all the way down to the bottom because of this terrible, terrible trouble and circumstance that they found themselves in. And it says in verse four, then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and they wept until they had no more power to weep. You know, they were facing this and it was overwhelming. It was so depressing and discouraging that their children and their wives had been taken and all of their stuff was burning. And it says in verse 5, And David's two wives were taken captive. In verse 6, And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him. So here's David. And not only, you know, is he dealing with his own, you know, heartache. Not only is he dealing with, you know, his own issues with what's happened to him, but he's dealing with the people, and they're upset with him and blaming him and wanting to stone him. But notice what it says in verse 6. David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord. I like that. David encouraged his own heart in God. He strengthened his own heart in God is what one translation said. You know, sometimes Christians always want someone else to come along and encourage them, strengthen them. And, you know, thank God for those times when you do have somebody or when someone reaches out to you. But listen, you can't be mad at people for not reaching out to you. You can't be mad at your pastor because they haven't called you. You can't be mad at the church because they haven't, you know, came to visit you. There are going to be more times when you're going to have to encourage yourself, you and God, you and Jesus. You're going to have to encourage yourself in the Lord. I don't know why Christians don't want to do that, but they don't. So many times Christians just want to blame everybody, be upset with everybody because they're discouraged. But listen, you have to take dominion in your own life. You have to take authority in your own life. And when the devil shows up at your door, when the devil shows up in your camp, you got to kick him out of the camp. You got to take discouragement when it shows up and you've got to send it on down 
the road. You have to learn how to do that yourself. There's a scripture over in Psalms 42, verse 11, in the Living Bible. I like how this reads. It says, but oh, my soul, don't be discouraged. See, he's talking to himself. Talk to yourself when discouragement comes. You, you need to talk to yourself and say, Lisa, you're not going to be discouraged. He goes on to say, don't be discouraged. Don't be upset. Expect God to act. Hallelujah. See, that's encouraging. I'm expecting God to move in this situation. I'm expecting God to turn this thing around. See, this is how you need to talk to yourself when you encourage yourself in the Lord. He says, but oh, my soul, don't be discouraged. Don't be upset. Expect God to act for I know I shall have plenty of reason to praise him for all that he will do. He is my help. He is my God. See, this was a man who was expecting God to move in his life. And when discouragement came, he took authority over it. He goes, I'm not going to be discouraged. I'm not going to be upset. I'm expecting God to do so many amazing things for me. Hallelujah. He's my God and he is my help. He didn't wait for somebody else to come and encourage him. He didn't wait for somebody else to come hold his hand. This man took authority in his own life and sent discouragement down the road. And you can too. If you're feeling discouraged, I'm telling you, let the faith of God rise up. Speak out of your mouth, hallelujah, that I am encouraged in the Lord. God is working in my life. God is moving in this situation. He is my God. He is my help. Hallelujah. What an encouraging thing to think about there, that God is your help. You know the reason that God will help you? It's because He loves you. It's because He is a friend to you. The Bible says He's the friend. You think about friendship and what friendship means. You know, friendship is somebody that's going to support you, somebody that's going to be there for you, somebody that's going to help you with the tough stuff. You know, have you ever moved before? I tell you, friends that help you move are real friends in your life because nobody likes to do that. But if somebody's a real friend to you, they'll show up and they'll help you move all your furniture and all your boxes and all that stuff because that's what a true friend does. They support you in your time of need. Well, I love what he says here. He says, he is my God. He is my help. My God, my friend will help me in this situation, in my time of need. Aren't you glad that God is your friend? He's your best friend. He's a covenant friend. He's the friend that will cause all the promises that he has ever said to you. He's the one who will bring them to pass in your life. You just have to trust him and you just have to believe in him. And when you do, you're encouraged. You know, I think that about David. I think he was encouraged because he knew God. He knew God had helped him before. He'd helped him with the bear, helped him with the lion, helped him to overcome the giant. He knew that God would be there for him. And he encouraged himself in the Lord that day. And he sent discouragement on the run. You need to do that. You know, if discouragement is hanging around, it's okay to ask people to pray. It's okay to ask for people maybe to give you a word of encouragement. But I'm going to tell you, it doesn't replace you encouraging yourself in the Lord, your God. You need to do that. You need to do it now. You need to do it today. Amen. We love you so much. I really hope that ministered to you. I hope that really helped you. You may didn't want to hear that, but that's okay. Sometimes, sometimes the word gives us exactly what we need, even when we don't want to hear it. But you needed that word today. Encourage yourself in the Lord. We love you. We'll see you next time. God bless you guys. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching today. 
As you know, with everything happening today, it is vital that Faith World is able to continue to spread Jesus. We cannot do this without you, the church. So at the end of each video, we always want to give you an opportunity to give so that you can be blessed. The ways that you can give are on the screen. Also, if you need prayer, please email, message us, or call the church so that we can pray with you. Thank you so much for joining us today. We will see you tomorrow. But before you go, here are some announcements to keep you informed with what's going on at Faith World Church. Hey church, thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Casey and these are your announcements. Be a part of what God is doing in our city by participating in our outreach day on November 14th and 21st from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. at our Hammock Campus parking lot. We'll be handing out free groceries to the people in our community. So if you can help bag or distribute the groceries, please call the church and someone will get back with you. Thursday is grocery day. We are looking for volunteers to help bag groceries on Thursdays the 12th and the 19th. We're gonna be setting up the bagging stations at 10 a.m. and bag all the groceries at 6 p.m. You are welcome to volunteer for either or both times to help get the church ready for Outreach Day. Church, we have a new app. Make sure to download yours by searching the App Store for the Church Center app. Once you've downloaded your app, make sure to register for Faith World Church in Hemet. With this new app, you can give and see everything that's going on at Faith World Church. Make sure to come early for our Sunday morning services for corporate prayer. It starts at 9 a.m. in both campuses. For our Hemet campus, prayer will be held in room one. And for our Marietta campus, prayer will be held downstairs. We are so blessed to welcome guest ministers Kevin and Ann Duran to Faith World Church on November 22nd at 10 a.m. at the Hammett campus and 6 p.m. at the Marietta campus. Mark it on your calendar because you do not want to miss these special services. November 8th is Veterans Sunday. We are so excited to celebrate and honor all of the veterans in our church at both of our campuses. We would also like to bless our veterans from Faith World Church with a gift. So if you're a veteran at Faith World Church, make sure to register online or in the lobby. If you would like to bless a child in need this Christmas, we will be doing a giving tree starting on November 29th. You can select a child's card from the lobby and bring the toy back to the church unwrapped by December 13th. Thank you for sewing into a child's life this Christmas. Faith World Men, make sure not to miss our Elevate Men's Ministry Super Breakfast. It's gonna be on Saturday, November 14th at 8.30 a.m. at the Hemet Campus. There's gonna be pancakes, sausage, potatoes, and eggs. Also, we're gonna have great fellowship and some giveaways. You can RSVP on the app or on the sign-up sheet in the lobby. There will be no service on Wednesday night, November 25th. Please enjoy safe travels as you prepare to celebrate Thanksgiving with your family and friends. We are so excited for our In Him Youth Fire Conference. It's gonna be on Saturday, November 14th from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. at our Marietta campus. This conference is gonna be changing and impacting youth all over Emmett, Menifee, and Marietta area. There's gonna be food, giveaways, games, worship, and the Word of God. Don't miss it. Thank you so much for being with us today. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook and join our other online broadcasts and services we have throughout the week on our YouTube channel. You can also continue to sow financial seed by giving on the church app and by our text to give. Thank you so much for being with us today and have a blessed week.